Alright. Let's do this. I may cut it a, an hour short. I will say that. Um, today. Just so I can like get some other stuff done before work tomorrow. I've been exercising and oh yeah, speaking of that, I've lost a pant size. I'm pretty happy. Um but <laughs> the thing is I started exercising and I stopped doing um I stopped taking my protein, so I'm kinda I don't know. I gotta get back into that. So last time we had to speak to the boss uh, because we last time um, Ryu went from a child to an adult um, and we ha we found that the guards a guardian and he fought in the I'm assuming he fought in, in the war between the brood and the goddess and he killed a lot but we also found out that um, the brood allowed themselves to die through the war uh, now, Gar is questioning pretty much everything about his his self and why would he follow it and blah blah blah, you know. Um, and so yeah, he took us to this like place of uh, I guess the dragon, the brood graveyard, to kill Ryu. Ryu was like, uh, no, uh, I I don't want that. <laughs> and then Ryu lost control because of a um. Something was influenced him. Uh, Dark Dragon, I think, was the assumption that we, as a me and Chat, made um, last week. So stuff happened. Um, there was a time skip. Ryu is now a young adult um, or late teenager, and they said ten years have passed. So yeah. And uh, so now we just got picked up by Gar because we were just rampaging in the mines again like we were in the beginning. And uh, we're coming here to collect our pay and leave to find our friends. Thank you so much. What do you say, Mr. Gar? Why don't you stay here? Just in case any more dragons show up. No thanks. Besides, I don't think you'll be seeing any more dragons say so. I really feel a lot better if you were around though. We must be going. Thank you for the reward. Oh, a cigar. If you really headed down the mountain, be careful on Ogre Road. Finally Ogre. We've heard stories about a really ferocious monster on the road. Attacking people. If you want to know more, you should go west to Sin City. Oh no, a ferocious beast. I guess he's not afraid though. I mean, he killed a dragon after all. <laughs> Little did they know, I was not dead. <laughs> that little baby dragon dwag. We if we get rid of that big dragon custom in the mountain, we won't have to worry about any more dragons. Also, little they know I'm the same dragon that was there ten years prior. It's crazy. It's like this place is haunted. Those dragons really are tough, huh? I mean, I thought they were supposed to be extinct, right? Genocide it. Genocide her. Uh, one of my friends said he saw a dragon once in some contest in some arena somewhere. I guess maybe they're still around? Question mark? Got nothing better to do, so I'm digging. Once that dragon's gone, I'll go back to the mining. I just love digging. I'm loving some digging. Loving digging. Ooh. I wonder if this is what he did recently. Because that's what it looks like. 
Oh, that big dragon skull I didn't even notice in the background. So they actually focused on it. Holy crap. Damn, they got a shirtless Ryu. They made a shirtless Ryu sprite. I'm oh, slightly thirsty. <laughs> Can't sleep, huh? I have to apologize to you, Ryu. Not only for trying to kill you, but... I don't know if it's right to take you. To take you like this with me as I search for God. But why did God see it fit to try to destroy the brood? That's a question whose answer you have a right to know. After leaving the mountain, we'll head east to Windia and then to the eastern lands, to Angel Tower. that guy his girl his is uh his daughter grew up from the arena go in tie go in the tie in tie in in tie in tie in tie looks like the battery said daddy can't make any money now that the contest of champions is closed for good dear can't you do something about that big golem do you know how much money i spend on food every month once upon a time, in the contest of champions, I was known as the Mighty Emtai, but I've been down on my luck ever since I threw a match to some kids <laughs> whose friends were being held hostage. Now I don't have any money to pay off the mortgage on this wonderful house and the prime real estate and so on. I'd like to make a deal. If you give me 10,000 zinni, I'll teach you all of my magic. What do you say? Wow, it really is 10,000 zinni. I never thought I really, uh, I mean, uh, all right then, a deal is a deal. I'll teach you everything I know. Uh, shit. Gara isn't under anybody. Huh. He should be probably under Bunyan. Or, no, he should be under Foul, but whatever. Here's got something to sell. Me, I sell with Sanano and you. You catch my meaning, handsome. <laughs> Weapons, armor, you name it, I got it. No, no. Shotgun shell? You mean like for, um, person who has a shotgun? But they don't? This spear is pretty rude. Silver mill. because this is a square button. Hey, I got everything from diapers to tombstones. What do you need? Hey, I got everything from diapers to tombstones, kid. Nothing. But if you could spare me some coin, I could tell you a thing or two. What do you say? Yeah, take your kindness, sir. What do you want to know? 
what that woman sells. Oh my gosh. Uh, you heard about that, huh? I don't know so much. Right? I've heard that people on the road down south here getting attacked by some kind of monster. Say some kind of tiger. So oh, tiger. Hmm. That sounds familiar. It sounds very familiar. I do have an affinity towards kitties. What is that? What is that lady selling? That's what I'm really interested in. What's that? What's that woman? <laughs> Can't tell you, but look at she's in the oldest business uh, there is. You know what I mean? I don't. That's why I ask. That's why I ask. What does that lady sell? What is she selling? Alright, what do we here, got here? Well, you can probably guess by the name Sin City anything old. It's most famous for black market here. Uh, and years with poor hobbies since you come here, you can get food for a price naturally. Because someone smuggles it here like that time a few years ago. When we had that bad harvest and we had food smuggled in from McNeil Village. Oh, oh damn, this is fucking tiger lifts. Look at them biceps. Is this the monster, the tiger? Dun, 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 dun. Oh no, not my defense. So he's always gonna go first because uh that's fast, I guess. Wow. Wow. Death versus all targets. Hmm. Maybe I'll snap on you. No defense down, that's not cool. This naked furry is attacking us, guys. Being attacked by a furry who can't afford clothing. How does my defense go down? But your defense doesn't go down. Keep coring and oh no, not focus. Attack Ryu, please. It'd be nice if you uh, got poisoned, though. It'd be real nice. It'd be real nice if you got that poison on you. Able to make like a special, special one at this point. Now that I will look up. Yeah, give me a second. Mm. You dragon forms. You dragon This is 
not telling you anything. This is like the, the worst. All right. Primary dreams. Well. Oh, well. Trigon. Uh, Flame Frost of Thunder. We got Trigon. We got the Hybrid, which I, which of course. Okay, so I don't I, I don't have enough to do all this stuff that I wanted to do. It's like, wait a second. I can do Trigon and that's about it. Miracle Elder Defender. And well I can do I can do fusion too, but not right now. Well darn. What I am gonna do. Let's uh, replenish my AP. Stop lowering my defense. Vicious Tiger. Dim Tiger. Man, he is exclusively attacking uh, Ryu for the most part. Trigon harder. <laughs> but yeah, you get named. Uh, you get named dragon transformations if you do specific combos. Um, they're pretty decent. And we just kind of like, oh, okay. <laughs> we go through. <laughs> it's so weird to me. I was never what talked about again. That monster, that tiger, it was like he was watching the road. What does he want? Is it connected with Sun City somehow? I kind of wonder what I have to go back for though, right? Hmm. Cause we 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 gone through it, so seems a little suspicious, right? Hmm. Welcome. Looking for a room for the night? McNeil Village has problems. There's a wild tiger on the loose. And the mayor's under investigation for wrongdoing, but we're still open for business. Gotta make a living. Tiger, huh? I wonder if it's the same one that got away from us on the road. Got away? You mean you didn't kill it? 
did we have? A few days ago, that tiger showed up. Wounded, it ran into the cedar woods up north of here. I'm not blaming you or anything, but you should stay away from the forest. There's nothing worse than hunting a wounded animal. Perhaps we are not to blame, but would you like us to take care of the tiger for you? Would you? No, oh, that would be wonderful. I'll give you a special rate on Aruma's thanks. What's the special, what's the special rate? Usually costs two hundred dollars, but for you, I'll give you one eighty nine. Good luck. Tipo, are you? No. My bay freaking Ray. My bay Ray. Everybody has like freaking PTSD though. You want to go alone? Huh. I guess you know something about that tiger. In that case, I'll wait for you here. Like this one freaking incident with the villagers being fucking cowards led to all of this tragedy and trauma and all this bullshit. Friends lost for 10 goddamn years. Uh, just being hunted relentlessly by like a mafia as a child. Trying to find my friends by going over to several different cities and stuff while being like pursued with, by these assholes who finally catch us. Only to get killed or be like be attempted murder by Gar by the person who saved us. And now, you know, wandering, I guess, for ten years as a feral ish dragon is kinda like before being brought back to our senses and now having the trauma of that as well, killing people. It it's a lot. It's it's been a lot. And so, uh, there's a lot of lighthearted moments in the game, and the game kind of like comes off lighthearted. But you know, story-wise, this this is this is a lot for for one character. But Ryu should be a very traumatic, uh, tragic character at this point. For you? Is that you? The only happy moments were in the beginning of the game. Is that you on Ogre Road? Yeah, he is a new sprite too, as you can see. <laughs> so that was you? <laughs> Doesn't that beat all? I never imagined I could be by you, Ryu. I wasn't holding back at all. Bill, I mean... It's nice to know you're okay. Ryu, I mean... I thought... The far end of Ogre Road. There's a black market. The guys who tried to kill us, the ones working with McNeil, came from there. It took me a while. I finally tracked him down. I kept an eye on who <clears throat> sorry. On who went in and out of the black market in the road. I kept on attacking them. I thought I would avenge you and Tipo. But look how I ended up. so poignant. I feel a little better now, knowing that at least you're alive and well. But I can't stop. Not until I teach those guys not to mess with me. Or my family. We don't have any music in the background or anything else. It's just... Uh, 
It's just Ray releasing his feelings uh, out, and he laughs when he sees us, because uh, he's. I feel like he's broken at that point when he's just kind of like, holy shit! Like it's been ten years. It's been probably a little over ten years since he's seen uh, Ryu. Last time he's seen Ryu, Ryu was a child. And he thought that he died, and to sit here and beat him at that crossroads where they fought each other. I think, like, yeah, he just comes off of the broken, defeated character at this point, where he's just like, I've been doing this, I've been having revenge in my mind the entire time for these, uh, for these clowns who just came and tried to kill us, tried to murder us, and, you know, avenging his, his adoptive you know, kids, adoptive youngins, and uh, I think just like, man, he's alive, holy shit, I never, it's kind of absurd in a way, like, oh, I never really thought that he would be alive all this time, but again, like, the a story is like real, it's lighthearted, they tell it in a lighthearted manner, but a lot of dark, uh, tragic shit has happened and only in the beginning again for the only good times <laughs> but once we infiltrated um McNeil's castle um or mansion it it becomes it just goes downhill what happened to the man eating tiger to the village the guy who sent us out, the mysterious dude. <laughs> so, it, it comes back to him, because he he got away. He got away and we didn't. Um, he was the sneak, he was the one who set us up for the job. I, I, I know I like touched over it before when it was happening in the beginning of the game when we first started, but this guy was the one who changed everybody's lives around because he was like, oh no, we're gonna do all this, and it turns out that he was just doing it for no reason or for his own own motives and so i think this is like the defining moment because basically he gets he doesn't kill him but he is like uh wounded very much for instigating this the whole game basically at this point um and also is layered it's nuanced because at this point also um Tipo, Ray, and Ryu, well, Tipo and Ray, really, were trying to turn themselves around for being thieves, and they were working hard at this point, and it had been, like, several seasons, and they were just doing good and, you know, working towards, like, being better people, and they thought they were going to be, oh, man, this is the, the biggest thing, everybody's going to recognize us as being, like, amazing heroes, knightly people for, you know, taking all his, you know, money, all the extra money that he's taxing you guys with and just hoarding. And we're giving it back to the people like Robin Hood, right? Only for it to be like, no, <laughs> actually, this guy who told you guys to do this was an asshole. Don't remember me. All right. <laughs> and it's like, only for, you know, only for this guy it turned out this guy not only is like a karma houdini who just like yeah i'm i know i'm the one who told you guys to do this stuff but uh i'm out of here like um i'm not the one who did it so fuck you guys and now you're gonna get killed and now everybody's gonna be gone so yeah i feel like this is really the defining moment of where everything just comes together from the beginning um for like everybody's story point and i think the game kind of like makes that a point as well because again, there's no music. There hasn't been any music since we walked into the forest again, and we found out, and you know, it kind of dawned on us that, oh, huh, that's probably Ray, right? So yeah, it's a um, very poignant moment, personally. McNeil, the smugglers, everybody, the big. I think I understand now why Ray hates these people so much. Mayor is behind all this, right? This may not 
that P for me to say, but aren't you interested in getting revenge for you? Like Ray? I see. I suppose things would get out of hand if you use your power. I like that despite Ryu being a silent protagonist, he is very expressive. Oh shit, it's Nina. She grew up and she gained her wings. Mc Mr. McNeil, you've been found guilty of smuggling. In the name of the in the name of the King of Windia, I hereby arrest you. N n no, you got it all wrong. It wasn't me, really. We know a thing or two about your friends Balio and Sunder. Ones who work for the organization you told us about. But they are dead, yes. Are and real? Long time no see. It's the infamous mayor, huh? We might be able to tell you a little something about that organization. I think you should send him off to India without the way. Alright, Gar. Return to the castle and take Mr. McNeil with you. We got our little spunky princess back. What's going on? That's what happened. Hmm. The power of the brood. Be you. I don't know what to say. It's all so big. That's what she said. I only just realized that, wow, I fought the dragons for almost 500 years. I still know almost nothing about them. Of course, Ryu himself is the one who must be really curious about them, right? Here. I see. Let's concentrate on more urgent matters now, okay? Don't give me that look. What if Sin City is the headquarters of that gang? We should go check it out. No matter how hard we think about it, we're not going to figure anything out about the brood just standing here. So we should take care of the business at hand, the investigation. But let's get going. You know how to get to Sin City, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> our little Nina's grown up. She's got her hair because she had like, you know, big curly, uh, hair, long curly hair when she was a child, but now she's grown up into her own a uh, young woman uh, ruling under her father, making her own, you know, way. Oh, god damn it, guys. It was me. It was everything was poignant to me because my uh, headphone sound was low. I blame all you guys. I was like, why am I... I think that she... Oh, and by the way, don't worry about McNeil. No matter how strong that tiger is, he won't be able to break into the castle. Huh. <laughs> Unless... Something's not right. That smell is blood. Ugh, it's a, it's a tiger. It hurts, it hurts. A man he didn't tiger. That wasn't supposed to be on the menu. A tiger came in and surprised us. Oh. 
mumble, mumble. No, 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 I'll stop. I'll stop smuggling Chris on my I promise. Just don't hurt me. Dog is okay, though. This time he came in and attacked us. He kept growling and asked us where the boss is. Where's Mr. Big? Ugh. No answer. He's dead. I told him they'd get in trouble if they didn't stop. Only one dead person so far. Oh, I'm so bad. I'll give you all my money. You'll give me some healing herbs. Thank you. Need a soda healing herbs for Ten City. Man, this, this music is sad now that I can actually hear it. Oh shit. I'm taking this for myself. Got an old painting. It was horrible. A monster. Ah, uh, Tiger came and attacked us. And he wanted the boss. The boss took off a long time ago. Probably ran off to checkpoint up north. The tiger? It has to be Ray. He must have given up on McNeil. Come here. He's still trying to make up, make it up to himself. That time long ago when he couldn't protect me or Tifo. But what's the point in doing that now? Besides, if he kills the boss, how will we be able to interrogate him? <laughs> See, she she said, "Ask what? Uh, what is the point of doing it now?" But I'm just like, because he's been he's been tracking these people for ten years. That's why. He's been having revenge on his mind for 10 years because of this stuff. That's what's the point of it. If he gave up now, it's pretty much like, well, what has all this been for, you know? What was the purpose of all of this if you can just say now, oh, it's okay. It's really, I don't know. Really one of those things. What am I fighting for? And other such things. I understand how he feels about what happened in the past, but killing the dawn of the organization won't bring Tifo back to life. I'm sure that even Ray realizes that destroying the organization means nothing at all at this point. What is north? What does north mean? Yeah, this is a north checkpoint, guys. Just to let you know what north is, this is north, alright? Uh, sorry that I had to like tell you guys this, this should be obvious. Oh no, it sounds like we're in a panic up here. What's going on? Huh? It's a tiger! Oh, what do you think you're doing? You know who I am! I know who you are. You're the dawn of the city. The high and mighty Mikvah, right? Well then... You know what'll happen to you if you mess with me, right? I'll ignore what you've done to Sin City. Just as long as you stop your little game, okay now? Game now, okay? <laughs> That's what your men said years ago. When they came to kill us, that our game had gone too far. <laughs> but unfortunately, I'm still a kid at heart, you see. I just don't know when to quit. <laughs> For you, I thought you might show up. If I've been a strong then as I am now, maybe I could have saved Tipo. Oh, he's he's broken. Or he's broken. But I never wanted to hurt anyone. That's why I just kept goofing off playing robber. I was afraid of my own strength. Ah! 
you tell that Ray is good, but you can't take it seriously with that tail bot. Oh my gosh. Choose the party members to help protect Ray. Uh, I guess it's not going to be Ryu. Sorry, Gar. You're out of here. Oh, yeah, he's at zero HP. Because he got knocked the fuck out. Uh, we're going to go with attack. And also, Ray has a new uh, profile pic, too. Uh, cause you know, in the beginning he had his hair, his little like fur, I guess. Cause he's kind of, he's kind of like a furry. He had his fur over his eyes slightly, like he was emo. And now he's kind of like, he has a little bandana on his eyes, looking solemnly to the side with his little hair spiked up. Ray is on his own, he told him, so, hey, no, we protect Ray in this, in this dream. I don't know, what are you talking about? In this shrine, Ray is number one, all right? He is number one husband. Ugh, but Ryu is such a cinnamon roll too. But no, Ray is number one husband. He tried and he's broken. He's a broken little little, little furry man who didn't want to... Who just wanted a nice little life with his little adopted boys. Ray is locked up. <laughs> As Nina, no. Ray isn't locked up. Be quiet, you. You protect Ray in this house. Afraid to hurt people. <laughs> you, a man-eating tiger. Our power has been given to us by God to use as we see fit. Use it to make your life better like me. Why are you a dragon? <laughs> Ryu, huh? You're the punk who killed Dahlia and the others, aren't you? Good, I can tie up all loose ends at once. Yeah. Yeah, we can tie up all loose ends, you motherfucker. You think I forgot? You think I forgot? I didn't. I'm I'm the player. You might not want to kill you, but I I do. Can I can I fuse? Can I fuse? Can I fuse? Oh damn, 24? I don't I can't afford that. Can't afford that. Eight maybe. Dude was running away, but this is tough. But <laughs> no, it's not tough. He was trying to run away, trying to get away here, but no Karma Houdinis because we get enough of that shit in the fourth game. And people do just. Well, I mean, it's. Yeah! Also, Ryu's animation. What the fuck is this shit? I'm mad. Um, Ryu's animation has changed. He doesn't like bend over in uh, agony anymore for changing into a dragon. He kind of embraces it by doing a little like squat stance there and powering up like a Dragon Ball Z character. So just just something that I noticed personally. Anita doesn't well no. Think her little casting thing is cute too. Try hard to our favorites. Mr. Biko here is offspring of the goddess we don't name. Oh, really? Let me see. Oh, yeah, you can see it with the wings. I'm not, I'm not sure though. Unless it's like that, the other form. understand because the goddess she has a lot of dragon imagery but like 
she, uh, it's so weird. She's trying to get rid of all of them, but she also uses the imagery of dragons as well. So I'm just like, are you confused? Can we can we wake up Ray? I wonder can I do that? Can I can I can I wake him up? I think we can. I feel like it's more appropriate for him to be like knocked out. Damn, you are hitting hard, mother trucker. What the fuck? I feel like it's more lore appropriate if he's like still knocked out. Honestly. Da -da 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 -da. Sort of shit, but I guess he yeah, I guess he just wanted to disappear. Oh, well, oh, yeah, if he was trying to cross the desert, hmm. Then he would have ended up over there with her, I guess. Or maybe in Junk Town somewhere. pose that she does is so cute when she stick her hips out. Yeah, you miss. Look at that scrim. Alright, let's see if we can ammonia, ammonia Ray. Get up, Ray. Probably so many sprite sheets here. For this one game. It's ridiculous. No wonder this game is like amazing. Uh... I actually have to compare. I know his hair got longer, I think, in this one. Um for Ray, but I think his clothes are kind of the same. They just have a different color scheme to it. I don't think his animations change too much. He hit the sky station far enough north <laughs> to move back in with his mom. <laughs> Oh no! It looks like he transforms back to uh, Were Tiger on his, own. <clears throat> on his own for this one. So, a thing about Were Tiger is that if you guys remember in the beginning where I was trying to get influence for uh, Ryu, uh, that's because Ray attacks on his own during Were Tiger form. Um. He has his own like AI at this point. He auto attacks, which is bad news because Ray also has like the highest, uh, one of the highest speeds. So he pretty much always attacks first, um, and he's pretty strong in this form. So having influence is great, but mostly I don't use him. I try to use him for fusion for the most part. But it's, it's better for him, and I can control him. Damn! They really like long dragon horns in this one. We wouldn't even be able to like turn his neck those horns. So this is kind of why you want to keep him dead. Because while he's doing the right thing now, that's not always guaranteed to me in this fight. He's he's definitely killed me in this fight before. Oh no! Maybe I couldn't have saved Tebow. Phew, for all we know, Ray killed Tebow himself. That we're talking about real. It really is. It really is like. Damn. Um, shit. Um... 
Oh, this is not good. I don't know if this is gonna work on him, but we'll see. Oh shit, yeah, it does work. Cool. Alright. So we got an hourglass from uh, Mount Levitt, I think. And for three turns, we can just try not to die. We're gonna keep Ray dead because while he's he's strong, he's unpredictable because we cannot control him at the moment. Um, and it's just easier to kind of get your party back up. You wouldn't want to die at this point where everybody's kind of like, well, he's taking a lot of damage and all this stuff, you know? to get Ryu under another teacher because I'm having um I love his new I love his new uh, magic animation honestly where he kind of like the sword just goes materializes into something else completely. but I also love that he embraces his transformation his dragon powers now which is an, another it kind of parallels uh the beginning where he, when he was a kid and he was fighting and he kind of like swung his sword wildly before getting used to fighting and then kind of like swinging his sword um confidently it's so subtle for like all these little changes we literally just became an adult not too long ago um game wise and in the beginning changing into a dragon kind of like w was I guess traumatic for him at that point, you know, he was like, oh, I'm holding his head and everything. Um, and now, I, with this, with pretty much being like, you should embrace the shit, you know, and use it to protect your friends, he, it changes the dynamic of it for him. So I love the little subtle changes in, um, in sprites, because the sprite set for this game has to be like, I don't know. <laughs> Super long. Longer than the Mafia hit list. Like, it has to be very, very detailed because they just do small little changes all the time for this. And the animations itself are just like, still A1 to this day, are very, very great. Um, and to add like the subtle detailing of this is just, it's just so great. It's very, uh, very nice. <laughs> Very Kino. Um, Death's Kiss, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, Capcom was kind of like a master of this at this point. They had uh, the Street Fighter games and all that stuff. They are very, uh... Very masterful at their craft. Nigma has, like, a lot of HP. And he's spamming it. thing, uh... He also has counter, as you saw. She doesn't seem to if you kill him at Clara Death Heaven. The Mipa got a power from God's mean and inherited it from her. He... Huh. Yeah, that's what I'm like. I don't know. He defeated a powerful enemy, so this was actually was powerful. Yeah, she doesn't seem to care, actually. <laughs> Who you learned? Raise it. 
need to learn train. Happy now, you freak tiger. This is what your power is for. To get rid of those who get in your way. Too bad. But it looks like the people you're looking for, Bally and Center, have already been killed by that kid there. <laughs> Power of the brood. You're saying you used it on them to avenge us? Is that right, Ryu? I've been. What have I been doing then? Does it mean anything, Ryu? Even now, without your help, I probably wouldn't have won. What do you say? Why don't you and I go get them? Go get those fools in McNeil Village to, who let them do that to us their power. We kill them all in no time, huh? Hold it. In the name of Windia, I won't allow you to get away with that. I was just kidding. Ever since Ryu beat me on Ogre World, I realized I wouldn't be able to even, even the score. I thought that if I used my power to change it to a tiger, I'd be stronger than anything else. But in the end, I wasn't even able to control my own power. All I did was just run around attacking things. But hurting people is not true power, is it? If that's all, the power of the brood was based upon. I would have had no hesitation in exterminating them. The brute fought a war and almost destroyed the world. Isn't that the power Mikbo was, Mikbo was talking about? Probably. The same power of death and destruction, only on a scale completely beyond yours or his. How many times do I have to say it? Ryu is not going to destroy the world or anything. He's a good dragon. Why is there such a power? Such dangerous power in the world. Now that the brood have been destroyed, the only one who can answer that is our god. So that's why you want to go meet God. You don't joke around, do you? <laughs> I've got a few questions of my own. Like, why do people like Mikba and me have our powers? So yeah, uh, rape's broken. Um... The 10 years of him doing all this broke him, unfortunately. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah. That fight was pretty tough. We are somewhat low level, though. If we want to learn about the brute, we should head east to Angel Tower. Have you forgotten that to get to the bridge to the Eastern Lands, we need the King's permission? For years, I kept investigating the organization, but I never heard nothing about Tebow. Yes, I guess that means... So do you, that means, do you, did you hear about Ryu? And yeah, I think he would be probably more devastated with uh, Tebow. I think he liked Ryu enough, but he, Tebow was there beforehand. Ah, uh, sad. <laughs> Why? Why? You need to use the Eastern Bridge, right? But this time, I don't think Daddy, uh, the King, will let me go. He thinks it's your fault I ran away the first time, Ryu. Yeah. For you, you broke up the black market? Uh, black market mafia, right? All you need is one more feather in your cap. And even he will have to admit you're a real hero. 
Remember the plant? Where they grow the vegetables using chrism energy? It looks like there's something funny going on. I, I've been thinking we need to check it out, so... Why don't you help me? I'm sure the king will forgive you. If you help me solve this problem, right? Really? Great! Let's go then! Plants down the road to the east! Very relaxed. Uh, can't make the crops grow like you want, even with the some. There's a little bit of like, uh... And therefore, for the most part, it's kind of like, uh, nice and easy. A little bit of hope in the background. Should have known better in the first place. That woman working on the machines? She sure is pretty, but all she thinks about are machines. I bet she wouldn't be interested in a guy like me. Oh, Momo. Are you into furries, kid? Yeah, the machines aren't tuned too sufficiently. More raises prism pressure. What does Momo's picture change? Now that I'm thinking about it, because rays change too very subtly. Um, well, I guess not so subtle because he he was facing the front of us to begin with. He was facing forward, and then um, now he's like side profile. I don't think I noticed uh, Momo's sprite change too much. I'll have to like try to remember. This reactor doesn't have enough pressure. If we don't get the valve tuned up soon, because everybody has changed the age up a little bit. Right, honey, what do you think? Huh? Oh, the parts I asked for. Just put them down over there. Whoops, not the parts. Sorry. Honey, I can't play with you right, right now. Who are those people? Friends of yours? What? For you? For you? Is it really for you? It's been so long. Hold on just a minute. I've got to finish this first. You sure have gotten big, haven't you? How many years has it been since you died at Angel Tower? Huh? Huh. Star tried to kill Ryu because he thought he was an evil dragon. But actually, you don't know if the brood are evil or not. So you're going to meet God to ask? really know anything about the brood. All I really understand are machines. Sorry. Um, Momo? What about the plant? What's wrong with it? Oh, yeah. Listen. The director, Pallet, he's missing. And the plant's falling apart. That crops are at least of our problems. If we don't do something soon, something awful could happen. Mutants appearing. A chrism reactor overload. Just about anything could happen. The only one who knows what's really going on is Pallet. In Pallet Town. Well, then... We have to find him and ask him what to do. I guess. He sometimes disappears for a while, but I've heard he never goes too far. You mean, you might know 
know where he is? Where he is? Let's go look for him then, Momo. Okay, honey. Oh, we'll join the party. Yeah, I don't think hers changed too much. Uh, she looks like she got more, like, fluff around her neck in terms of her, uh, outfit. But her outfit looks pretty much the same. Um, her hair looks the same, too. And I don't think her portrait has changed at all. So, everybody else has, like, slightly different things, but I don't think, uh... Momo's portrait has changed. I don't think anything's changed. Let me see. Let me make sure. Let me Google it. Alright, well. So no, Momo's sprite didn't change at all. Okay. Confirmed. Nothing changed about hers after 10 years. So what were you doing here, Momo? Well... After all, after we all broke up at the tower, I thought I would study Peko some more. So I returned to Anya with him. But I wasn't able to handle it by myself. So I came here thinking I could ask Director Pallet to help me. Peko? Peko is here? Yeah, over to the east there's a place where there is a tree called Yggdrasil. Pekka has been spending all his time there. He's always over there playing by that tree. Pekka was born here, so maybe he knows something. I mean, he can't talk or anything, but if you want to bring him along, the tree is east of the plant. Yes, I do want to bring him. Oh, uh, but then how am I going to have Pickle and Ray and Momo in my party? Besides the fact that maybe I shouldn't, I'm not going to have Pickle in my party. But still. Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil. Ding, ding, ding. A legendary tree said to be in the embodiment of an ancient sage who taught the world the meaning of true wisdom. Enshrouded in green, awing all who view his majesty. It has been a symbol of faith to all as the holy and guardian of the forest for untold ages. Uh, am I supposed to press anything here? Oh, well, I guess so. This is the place. This is where Pekko likes to hang out. Pekko? That's funny. I thought I heard someone talking. Yo? Did you just say something? I can understand him about as much as I understand a tree or a flower. And they don't talk. Anyway, come on, Pekka. We're going to go check out the plant where you were born. Thank you. Pekka, join the party. Hey, there's a ladder here. Let's go down and see what's down there. Uh, shouldn't you be concerned there's a ladder inside a furnace? Or like it was burning the entire time? Would you look at this place? Hey, Ryu. Who do you think this place is for? 
Is it part of the plant? Or is it the secret research lab of the director? Within this machine, hmm. Very impressive. I wonder if the director built it all himself. Or if there was another engineer. Engineer? Wait a minute. Hmm. Oh, never mind. Come on, let's look around a little. I don't believe it. It opened! Well, now we're getting somewhere. Come on, let's- It opened! I knew it! Repsol was... That was my father's name. I guess that means... He has something to do with this place. Maybe he was working on some kind of experiment? When I saw the machines here, I knew my father must have been involved somehow. But I never heard anything about this place. Could my father have done things here he was ashamed to tell me about? Now there's only one left. I wonder, what does the AA project mean? Something to do with enhancing life? Like the enhanced crops? Or does it have to do with mutants? What was my father trying to do? At any rate, we better find Director Pallet. He's the only one who can answer our questions. It's going well so far. Uh, probably gonna end like an hour early because I have uh, some other things that I have to do today. And I'm just a uh, bit tired from going to bed late. Carson Gas is looking out the room. Could something be happening inside? There's something about that room. Let's check it out first. Fine. I just can wait. Oh my! It's mutating! Eyeballs. I don't like that. Huge slug! What a name. Um. Uh, is a slug and he's super huge with a pom pom on his ass. I don't know what else to do besides attack him in his full ass. I don't understand it. It's too late because of it. Yeah, I've been playing that with friends. Uh, hey. I'll see how much I enjoy it, I guess. Um, well, I, I like it and just fine, but during the early access, I didn't. We got up to the end of the first arc and then I put it down, even though more more classes were becoming available because I was just like, mm, I don't like grinding and I don't like rep repetition too much. I start getting bored, so. But now um, that it's actually out, it's, I like it. It's fun. We're kind of speed running through the beginning since we did it so many times already. Glasses. That's my with glasses. Keep away from playgrounds. They need to keep this type of slug away from everything. That's contagious. Why are you guys missing me? What's going on here?
That attack, that was gross. <laughs> you, my guy, what are you doing? Kill me. Kill me, small. Back to uh... how how is the slug? How is the slug faster than anything else? Please answer. This slug just happened to be faster than the rabbit today. Like this is some bullshit. Not with your garbage. Are you serious with this shit? You're getting my damn nerves, my guy. But he has like a shit ton of HP at least. Fuck, fuck sakes. Back in the great weapons, the looting won't let you roll anything on your short sword in your offhand. Weird, do you need rules of glitch? I know it's glitched. It's probably just the way it's working in game. Um, it's the it's a lot of things that should make sense, should make, doesn't make sense. I made pretty much everything so far. Uh, uh, yeah, I think we've made one of every character at some point. Except when they, I think after they release Bard, I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't really care. I don't really care about making any more characters anymore. Um, I think I made the Bard, but then anything else that came after that, I was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm good. Whatever comes out after, I might be interested, but nah. I've made a ranger, I've made a fire, I've made a warlock, a wizard, a sorcerer, a cleric, a uh, fighter. Um, I can't remember. Because we, we've done like the beginning so many times. I'm just like, holy heck. I play more today too, since we're me as well. Uh, and I'm sort of tired of Remnant. I played Remnant all yesterday, and I'm kind of burnt out of it for today. So I'm just like, uh. A piston. Oh my god, come on with this bullshit! Can you get my fucking characters up because this goddamn asshole is being a fucking asshole? Oh 
Well, you should have did that any other time, you fucking stupid ass piece of shit. And I have a save, and they're like, oh, let's go in here because I, we got the. No. Why don't you automatically just go to the fucking person who's dead? That would make the most sense, wouldn't it? Because who's- oh uh, yeah, wow, ama amazing. Who would have fucking thought that you were gonna get the person with one HP? Get sick of room, yeah. Alright, we're right- Down again, even though you're still going faster and I don't, I don't, I don't know. This is why I want to raid my party. But no! I'm gonna defend with you. Session. I'm gonna do fam. So despite being in like attack formation, where you was just hitting in the hundreds. Now, for some reason, I guess the slug has just such. A giant amount of fucking HP. You know, accuracy would be great too. Take care, Stalsy. Thanks for stopping by.
don't know what's up with the missus though. I can like make us more accurate. Why isn't he taking damage? Okay. Because I forgot about that. I was like, what the heck is up with this thing? But the protective coating shouldn't have been like... I don't know. Shouldn't have made us miss more. It just should have been like high defense. So I don't get it. Attention. Maybe they did say something to you in the beginning. <laughs> so I'm like, we is way too powerful for this stuff. Ryu, good job! Oh, uh, now he's gonna spam quick because that's fun.
Can you die, please? That would be great. I, I'd love if you just die. That's getting old already. I'm not even gonna revive Momo. nice if you were leveled up, but not for that annoying ass battle. Could it be this plan is being used to make mutants in some kind of experiment? Could Momo's father be involved somehow? I don't know. Let's continue to freaking explore the dungeon. is actually called technology. This palette from Palette Town. <laughs> Say mother soon. I'll be able to revive you soon. With this elixir made using the mixture of crystal oil and Draxel sap, I'll be able to bring you back to life. hundreds of experiments to perfect this process. After all, we can't have you come back as some nasty mutant. Now can we? <laughs> don't worry, mother. I'll make sure you don't look like some ugly onion or anything like that. Uh, you doing okay, kid? kid? What? Who are you? Momo? We finally found you, Mr. Rector. So, you want to tell us what's going on here? Who is this place? Why did you abandon a plant like that? W w what do you mean, Momo? I I've been working on a new strand of enhanced crops. Liar. We heard you. We heard you talking about bringing your mother back from the dead? W what? I I I I I my m mother New experiments. Will you use the chrism there? Responsible for the mutants, aren't they? Your experiments. To bring your dead mother back to life. Shut up. What do you know? Why is it all right to use chrism to create new life with the enhanced crops, but not to give new life to my mother? Besides, it was your father, Repsol, who put this machinery together in the first place. Handshake, handshake, rah! Your father. He was the one who went to Yggdrasil and got the sap and put it in the machine, hoping to bring his dead wife back to life. What? It was a great discovery. We were able to use the essence of that good-for-nothing tree. Yggdrasil with the chrism to give life. And yet, and yet that fool Repsol, he said it was against the laws of nature. That it was wrong and stopped the experiments. Why? What's wrong with it? Everyone who's lost a loved one wished they could come back. I won't quit now. I can't. Who cares what the tree says? Unnatural? What's unnatural about using the resources we've been given? <laughs> you see this? This is what we extracted from Intracell. The essence of consciousness itself. I'm now transformed. I'll be able to protect my mother from anyone who harms us like you. <laughs> He's a 
Ryu take all the all the heat. Cause he is uh he is doing it. I was like he's about to go into a heal loop, so maybe we can attack him a little. Attack him. I'm still going to tell you what Pekka because Momo has a... Uh... Momo was freaking... But Momo was blocking and she still got like... Well, well, I guess Ryu's taking it all, all at home. That's fine. He deserves it. Putting in the work. Unlike the rest of you guys, floor tanking. Just here. 
That's what you want to do, I think, really. And then it's the same regardless. For your help, Momo. Thanks to you, we were able to take care of the problem at the plant. Oh, that? Well, it looks like my father was involved with the plant, so I would have had to do something about it sooner or later. My father, he repaired that machine and was going to use it to try and bring back my dead mother, but he quit and started working on developing the enhanced crops. I wonder, why did your brother quit his experiments? I think it's because he realized there's nothing more unnatural, more wrong than trying to bring the dead back to life. He loved machines, and he may not have known a lot about anything else, but he wasn't stupid. Well, anyway, thank you. Now you can receive the king's forgiveness and travel to the eastern lands. I've been thinking. I'd probably go east with Ryu and the others. There's no point in staying at the plant, and I still like to see what kind of ship they have in Rikalia. Oh, Ray's out here with everybody this time. In the end, we had nothing but trouble with the enhanced crops. I wonder if there's some things we're not meant to tamper with. Oh dear. It was T-Post's dream to go there someday. Oh, poor Ray. Poor Ray. Poor broken little cat boy. I wonder if Peko and the other mutants weren't failures. Maybe when the director was born with his experience to see if he could bring his dead mother back to life. Ooh, ooh. Result of a failed experience or not, Peko's alive. Now we can finally get a passport. Traveling across the land with your party of friends. You guys have a great uh, rest of your week. Have a great Sunday. Uh, have a great weekend. I hope that everything goes well for you guys. And I'll see you probably during the week for RPG Maker stuff if you're interested. If you're not, um, I'll see you Saturday. You guys have a good evening. Um, this is Luna, and I'm hopping off. Bye.